What's up, guys? Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. I mean, what's up, guys? I'm here to show you Virtual Desktop Launcher 1.1. This is the updated version from 1.0. The big difference here is that we can now add our own custom parameters. So what I recommend is having a text file you keep somewhere nearby, somewhere handy, that has your favorite game settings. Now, default here, Steam and VR, is always enabled no matter what you do. So if you say yes or no on the, on the bat file when it comes up, it's still going to put those on it to make it run with virtual desktop. As a quick side note, if you want to ever uh, launch a game that you already own, just go to your Steam library, right click on the game you want to launch, and go to um, properties, I believe it is, no, manage, browse local files, and then just drag that exe onto virtual desktop launcher. You could add parameters as well. Now examples of a use case here are with Half-Life Alex, I turn up the graphics to the highest possible quality. And with LA Noir, the game literally will not run without these settings. And that's probably what took it so long to crack is someone needed to figure out these weird wacko settings to make it work. Anyway, I will demonstrate this right now. I have my quest on and now we just drag and drop the EXE right onto the virtual desktop launcher. So would you like to launch with custom arguments? Steam and VR are included by default. So no, we're just going to go for it the default with uh, Steam and VR. And there's nothing. No game to be found. No pop-up, no process of it either. So now, let's do it with our custom commands. So here's why I have them stored in my little notepad, handy dandy companion module. Uh, we're gonna say, yes, we wanna run it with custom settings. And then we just paste it in with no quotes and spaces between each argument. And now we'll press enter. There's a little timer, three seconds. And yep. It's in my headset. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, didn't work before, and now it works. You can change a lot of settings with this. You can make the window size different. Hell, you can get rid of the spectator window. Things like that if your computer has trouble running it. Otherwise, um, just experiment with it, guys. Uh, thank you. Have a great time. And as always, don't forget to ring that mother bell.